My name is Adeen. I am the Liquid Guild Treasurer and Sales Manager. My name is Bhagadab, and I am Head Analyst for Liquid MMO. My name is Telegon, and I'm a Analyst for Team Liquid MMO. My daily roles within the Guild are ensuring that everyone has their consumable, their resources, everything that they need. Basically just supporting the players in ways they don't even know because I do it behind the scenes. I am the one who is essentially the bag holder, so I hold all the gold across all 40 realms that we currently support on. What that gold is used for during the race is consumables, so I'm in charge of stocking the guild bank. I also uh, have to track BOEs, so I have to make sure to have the gold on that realm, get the BOE, guild bank transfer the BOE, or just character transfer the BOE to Illidan, which is where our guilds are on, um, in order to make sure that <laughs> <laughs> they get the gear that they need for the race. Aside from that, I also work on uh, Liquid Women in Warcraft. So LWIW is a wonderful initiative that brings visibility to women and gender minorities in WoW, trying to basically elevate them to the standard of men within the industry. When you think about it from a resource management perspective, it is very important to have the funds in order for the guild to participate in activities. If the guild didn't have consumables, like if they didn't have pots, if they didn't have food, if they didn't have flasks, they probably wouldn't be able to make those min-maxing work within the raid. And you gotta make sure that you have those resources planned in order to make a big impact like at the World First Race. So I would say it is a very important job even if you don't see it, even if it's completely behind the scenes. You need someone who is managing the in and outs. You need someone doing the accounting. It's a lot of nitty gritty detail work, but in the end, it results in having, uh, you know, that support for the world first raiders. I guess the main job is here is just to make sure that we understand all the systems coming into the new expansion and new raid, and also create essentially like a plan for all the Raiders. So I love data, I love numbers. I got my degrees from the University of Guelph. I got my bachelor's in science in which I majored in marine and freshwater biology and I minored in music. And then I also got my master's of environmental science at Guelph um, and that specializes in aquatic toxicology. I'm currently working on a certificate in environmental management as well. I have a bachelor's and a master's in electrical engineering from UC Santa Barbara. I have a bachelor's degree in mathematics at Stetson University. I would say that my educational background helps with problem solving in World of Warcraft because those skills that I have learned in university uh, all are transferable to World of Warcraft. So I feel like in school I learned a lot about how to think analytically and a lot of engineering. I guess there's two styles. One is just like calculating everything out and trying to understand all of the math behind what you're doing. And then there's the other style, which is like tinkering. I really enjoyed kind of tinkering. And I, I think a lot of that comes through in the way that I approach like um, just analysis work as well. The analyst coach role is the same as like a professor would be in a classroom, like kind of guiding direction. I think for instance, when creating a plan for splits, like I will create a plan, I will try to figure out like, is there something better? How can I break this plan to make something better? So I think having a STEM degree affects my work as an analyst by giving me like a very solid foundation when it comes to the logical processes that like surround the fundamentals of mathematics when it comes to like the logic behind proof theory and um, like game theory. Having a specifically a mathematical background with my degree, I think has trained me to some degree to like approach problems in like a systematic fashion. I think that Holondris was probably the most difficult. Um, there's a few reasons for that. The first is like when a problem happens, the entire raid instantly dies and you're like, where did we go wrong? The tinker side of me would be like, we definitely want to try things out and not get stuck in doing one thing too early, especially if it looks like a difficult boss. The other aspect is like, if the boss is easy, then you don't want to essentially try out a bunch of things and waste holes. And when actually approaching Halandris when we were there, um, one of the hardest things was actually just like identifying what wiped us because one mistake essentially caused the entire raid to die. 
essentially we had six VODs up at a time to try and like address the issue that was causing us to wipe and kind of look at it and be like, okay, so is this like an individual mistake or is this like, you know, something that we can figure out strategically so it doesn't happen again? So when it comes to World of Warcraft, you don't have um, like a free play space where you can just practice as much as you want in the scenario where you'd want to. So during downtime where you can't uh, like progress a boss or don't have access to the content that you need to succeed in, uh, things like diagrams or other like visualization tools can help prepare you or like be a tool to help you prepare for things that you can't physically practice. Being in STEM like trains definitely the like analytical processes. Being in this guild has been a fantastic opportunity for me because I never thought in a million years that I would be able to combine my love of gaming with what I do on a daily basis, you know, all the science stuff. I would say that it allows me to think about problems and solve them in many different ways, in addition to just doing something I love. Being liquid uh, means a lot to me, of course, because I've been following the race world first for probably like over a decade now, so being able to be a part of it is pretty special. The advice that I'd give to people who want to combine their love of gaming and a STEM degree, or even just finishing their uh, studies within STEM, I have to say 100%, just go for it. Just get everything out there. Get all the experience that you can, whether that's in school, uh, if there's you know volunteer experience, or if, if there's placement programs, get all the experience that you can because it might be relevant one day.